Star Trek you log April 2020 for the rest of the illiterate and communicative like fuck ups of yesteryear and same era when I was born an era uh vidanya for era e r a e r a it's an era era <laughs> error same year that I was born we have bands of time yeah Louis one era Nicoletta another era we got Mariah uh, whatever era got Clifford Gunder era Antonine and Angelina Cataruzza, era. They were E-R-A, a band of time, yeah? They also were E-R-R-O-R. -R -R. They were error in the grand schematic of life and living on this planet for the second coming. So, there's a problem. We've got the pointy head crown of London, the cunt, her name, Enomine, of London, is Elizabeth. I say all the lies, L I E, L I A R, everything out of their illuminati mouth, L I E. L I A R. Yeah? Elizabeth and Company. Anything that was English, Elizabethan, any dip, S H I T. Sphincter, out of the hole. Yeah, on top of the children. Yes, Elizabeth and Company. B U L L S H I T Elizabeth and Company. Yeah? That's how they speak. Parare. Parare. Yeah. Congo. C O N G O. You have in Lincoln Continental America, Congo, they made. A dance, a tons, in Germano, Tedesco, a tons, T A N. Sometimes it's T A N Z, yeah? Where they dance and they're so happy and they go around. Fuck you! Non ci bene per lei in America. Oh. Woodstock. Louis Edda. Both. Time. An outcome of action, yeah, had a concert in New York, upstate, Lewis, I don't believe he went there, where you had all of the children of the flowers, oh, playing music and singing and dancing and fornicator, <laughs> French Moroccan, yeah, that's what it looked like. Anyway, but it was all white people. Not that it fucking matters. Wait, strawberry fields. Yeah, that's what they were calling the white stupids. <laughs> that wasn't in like a military chain of command, like smart. Yeah. And then we had them going to college. Oh my God. Yeah, I know. Your grandfather and your grandmother who were like, no, get the people, the rainbow children, like build them a boat and, and get them back let them have the education oh sure give them free rights free rights to go back <laughs> like because if you leave them it's gonna be a problem in the future uh hello <laughs> am i the only white person in emedica <laughs> that speaks the truth because i'm looking around and going why the fuck was the rest of america in the white people territory you let the whole fucking eastern asian continent in <laughs>
and you gave the African Americans an education, and then they took control of, like, a government? <laughs> I mean, like, Jesus fucking Christ, I can't even get out of New York. <laughs> I can't get a job. I can't get, like, my shit together. I mean, like, which projects were you all taking and, like, thought you were super really important? Yeah. Congo dancing your way to, like, what exactly? Because I'm pretty sure the white crown runs the earth still. In God's territory, it does. Because I don't need to wear a crown to be the one that kills you all and have some kind of quantum connection to you. Mm. So, yeah, you might want to think about that before you quantitatively speak and do some kind of a fucking analysis of, like, where are we going next? You know, you might want to, like, make sure the English you speak and you write and you read <laughs> equates out to all the levels of Illuminati bullshit that they haven't gotten right for the last three generations and you're, like, on your last call because, mm, <laughs> end all be all. <laughs> yes, she is. <laughs> What was the last thing that I needed to say? Congo line. We got the rainbow children. Oh, right. So in white pointed crown territory, let's keep the colored hue skin off the record at the moment. <laughs> I'm considered a African N-I-G-E-R. I happen to be wood stock because I am the toughest grain wood and the most valuable in the rooted roots root race, which is Rusa. Yeah, it is. Got the roots up. Go figure. So I am actually named after the root race of the originals on this planet. And I am in my afterlife and I have woken up this lifetime to a whole lot of what did you all do? What did you teach yourself? Because I haven't seen any of you communicate anything on the same level across the water, in the water. Now you put other people's children in the white water and you're letting them speak and educate you and your kids and with all sorts of ideas that don't work. <laughs> and clearly they haven't been working for hundreds of years, but you keep saying I gotta be quiet in free country of speech. And you keep quieting each other when you're like, whoa, we want you out of here. And where do you think you're taking the future? Because <laughs> you all been driving a quatrain that you didn't even know existed with trying to be smart and intelligent about something. I mean, I know that we had all of those 1960s dipshits joining college leagues and fraternities and whatnot in America building all sorts of societal ideas in their college, in their Harvard. You know what Harvard means to an extraterrestrial? Oh my god, they just made everything so much fucking harder because now they think like they're in charge of something. Oh my god, where is my chain of command? Like, where are the ones with the guns, with the pins, with the... Yeah, because, like, I know you know, like, what's really going on and, like... Oh god, we gotta talk to the stupid people of the world, and we gotta try to explain to the Monopoly people that, like, what they thought is still wrong, and mm, how are we gonna get now, because they made us take on their rainbow children, who now have ideas, and mm, how are we gonna explain? Yeah, so see, this is where I said, Gorilla. <laughs> Uh, the god of society and world at large <laughs> needs a little help with the uh, Condor crew of cleanup and sweeping out. Because <laughs> we got a whole lot of stupid <laughs> on the field in America, specifically New York. I don't know how the rest of the country's doing. And then it stems out to a whole lot of other countries and states and so on and so forth. Because Elizabeth's been playing the Virgin Queen and clearly... <laughs> We can see just how bad for the last three generations she's been at her job. And nobody's kicked her out and killed all of the problems of the not-god, <laughs> the virgin newbie bloodline. And the virgin newbie bloodline, who knows she's not the real queen, haven't been helping the authorities <laughs> with the vampirical system, who knows better... So, which one of you is going to jump off the couch, potatoes, and, like, let's get something done? Because, <laughs> right, we got a whole lot of children left over from Elizabeth trying to be, like, a manager. 
<laughs> trying to run a society because all she's done is thrown up a whole lot of dangerous drugs society she's mixed in all different kind of ethnics which now you gotta kick them back to their territory oh well, that's gonna be fun now just shave off their heads like a good old gorilla because they didn't belong on america's territory and someone told someone out of banks to throw them in just to confuse the situation more and i know my people down in texas are like where the hell has this chick been yeah i've been in new york waiting for you all i mean i don't know why we let the fucking rainbow children of yesterday overtake the fucking like no this wasn't your country you didn't fund it you never have money we're trying to build you a banking system but your i got i got rights no you fucking don't i'm gonna handcuff you and put you back on the boat and send you where you really have some rights go build banking over there you got a college education go go use it somewhere they need you <laughs> You're not needed here. Go. <laughs> Bye. Adios, <laughs> amigo. We won't miss you. Let's see how good you do over there. Go build yourself some net worth.